a good day today honey oh wait where am i at okay <laughs> and just because you have an opinion doesn't mean that your opinion is correct welcome back to another video it is a beautiful morning so I thought I would sit down and film especially because it is a quiet house today <sighs> never take your breaks for granted mamas cuz oh did I need it I needed this break okay anyways so today's video is going to be a book review as you read from the title <laughs> and I will be reviewing the four agreements now this book I want to say it's different but I could probably say that about every self-help book I feel like the difference with this one is that it walks you through step by step and makes you realize that you need to question, not need to, but you should and you can question how you grew up and what's really tied to your beliefs and your habits. And the, okay, so the thing about self-help books is none of them will click for you if you're really not trying to self-help. <laughs> And if you're kind of in the middle of wanting the self-help and then you pick up a self-help book, it might not help <laughs> unless it's the right one that draws your attention in. So it just all depends. Keep an open mind and try something different. Okay, so this book starts off, first of all, can we address how cute this is? I've always wanted one of these and you see them everywhere on YouTube well you did when they were trending but I don't wear stuff because they're trending I wear stuff because I like it so I got me some cat ears well I mean I guess they don't have to be cat ears but um look at this this is adorable and if you disagree that's okay too Okay, name of the book is The Four Agreements by Don Ruiz. And the book starts off with going into what's called domestication and dream of the planet. And he talks about how we didn't get to pick our religion, our race, <clears throat> or even our name. He brings attention to the fact that some people might not be paying attention, but you are born with your name, with your religion, with your race. So he's bringing awareness to the fact that that's the same thing with your beliefs. Your parents or your guardian or whoever raised you thought it was best to teach you your beliefs, your habits, and your whole perspective. Everything about your life was taught to you at a young age. Okay, maybe not everything, but most of the stuff. Like your foundation. So it's just something to be reminded of because I feel like a lot of people wouldn't put that together. We were also taught right from wrong. And obviously a good one, like a good example to teach would be, we don't steal, right? And whether you're taught that subconsciously or consciously, it's a good one, right? You can get in trouble, there's consequences, you can go to jail. But something a little bit more subconsciously taught could be, maybe when we argue, we don't communicate well, or we suppress our feelings when we're very upset. Things can be taught to us subconsciously and us not even realize it. Same goes for the parent. The parent not even realize that they're teaching it to their kids subconsciously. That's why I say it's important to always question yourself. And then he goes over some stuff about 
faith and how it's unconditional. I don't know if I said this, but I read this book from Audible. Um, most of these books are going to be from Audible. It's just a little bit more convenient than going to try to find the book. And it's a little less expensive too, so I like that. Anyways, so because our parents are raising us, our guardian is raising us with their view, their habits, their beliefs, it's like we become a copy of them or of society. Because maybe they could change up a stuff depending on what generation it is. So because of that, he really talks about and breaks down how while we're being raised, everything is what is shaping our perception of things. So during this process of our parents trying to guide us, we form our own image of what perfection is and how to feel good enough. But in reality, we don't fit this image because it's not real. And then he goes into detail about that. So because we're forming opinions and it's not working, that's when self-abuse kind of comes in. So self-abuse comes from self-rejection and self-rejection comes from having an image of what it means to be perfect and never measuring up to that idea. So what I took from it was basically our parents or guardians could be raising us on false habits, false beliefs. And then since they're raising children, those children are now trying to come up with a image that explains perfect off of false beliefs. You know what I'm saying? And there's more stuff. And again, I'm, I don't go into all the details of my book reviews. So I guess you just have to go read it to figure out, find out, figure out. It's a good book though. It'll be worth it. So because of this, he says we should learn to make our own agreements out of love and not out of fear. And you could be making your own agreements out of fear and not even realize it. And again, this is a short book. It's a really good read if you're paying attention to it. So because he's trying to tell you, you should try and make your own agreements, especially out of love, not fear. He's going to walk you through the four agreements you should try and live by to reshape everything that you used to know. So the first agreement is be impeccable with your word. This is a good one. This is a really good one. Because if somebody gives you their word every time, if they are trustworthy, then you know you can count on them. And accountability is rare these days. You know it, I know it. Your mama knows it. Your mama knows it. Your boyfriend knows it. And your side chick knows it. Okay, maybe that's going a little bit too far. Again, so be impeccable with your word. Your intent will be manifested through your words. So your words matter. We do a lot of self-rejection, which I feel like a lot of people can agree. <laughs> and our words can be used as magic and our opinions could be used as black magic. This one hit hard because I know I come off opinionated opinionated and I know some people are more opinionated than me and those people come off real opinionated so I get that there's different levels and when you do say something nice to somebody or give somebody a compliment it just can turn around someone's day so quick so I feel like that's another perspective to look at that maybe someone will resonate with better your words can be used as magic and just because you have an opinion doesn't mean that your opinion is correct. I'm going to say it again. Just because you have an opinion doesn't mean it's correct. That goes for me. That goes for my friends, my family, you, your friends, your boyfriend, whoever. 
Just because you have an opinion doesn't mean your opinion is correct. It's your opinion on your view with your perspective. I feel like that's going to hit home for some people. Okay, now for the second agreement. Don't take anything personally. I feel like this is a hard one for me. I'm sensitive, okay? And I can't tell if your communication is off or you just trying to be mean or if you trying to be nice. Like, I don't know what's happening. Some of the time, not all of the time. Your opinion has been made up from your domestication and agreements you have made with yourself. So, oh, let's go back to the gas tank thing, right? Okay. Oh, wait, some people might not know what I'm talking about. Okay, so in my, was it my first video? My intro video? I mentioned in a previous video, as an example, that I believe the gas tank should never fall below quarter of a tank, right? I was raised with my parents up in the north, up in Connecticut, and they always taught me, especially because of colder weather, maybe emergencies, never let your gas tank fall below quarter of a tank because you never know what could happen, plain and simple. So the whole time I had a car, I would never let the gas tank drop below a quarter of a tank. I would try not to. And I think that's where my pet peeve comes from when my husband lets the gas tank go to 10 to 5 miles till E with the light on. So because of that, because I have that formed in my head, that is an agreement I made with myself even though I was taught that agreement from my parents. Does that make sense? I hope so. So that was just an example. So that's why my opinion has came from how I was raised. Okay. Also, don't even take it personally when you hear something in your own mind from yourself. No, well, I really need a new chair that doesn't do that. <laughs> I felt like that was a good one because I feel like a lot of us humans overcomplicate things and overthink and especially people with anxiety who overthink it's like a constant battle you know well if you have anxiety you know you know so because of that you have to learn to trust yourself and be responsible for yourself which is again something i'm working on with my decision making which i had talked about in the anxiety research video i did so i will link that up here or up here okay so the third agreement is don't make assumptions it's usually when we don't understand something we try to put it together ourselves remember that no one can read your mind and we as humans feel like we need to justify our answers to feel safe or our feelings therefore you should be trying to ask a lot of questions so the more questions you ask the more detail you can get back and the less chances your mind will start to wander and assume things. Okay, so the fourth agreement, always do your best. This is my favorite one. It's a most simplest one, but always do your best. It's a good reminder, you know, and your best will usually depend on your mood and that could improve long term. So, Doing your best is to simply take action, no matter what that may be. Because when you take action, you're doing it without expecting. When you take action just to do it without expecting a reward, it's nice because if the rewards don't come, then you're not upset or you're not attached to it. And I feel like that could be anything, you know? Be nice to people because you never know what they're going through. Don't be nice to people so you can get something out of it. People who do YouTube or social media in general, they don't start making money right off the bat. It takes years and years and years. And if you're just doing YouTube for the money, 
the consistency will fall off for sure. There's no way. There's no way I could keep doing what I do now just for money. There are more options out there that is easier than doing YouTube to get money. And I feel like that's, that's the point he's trying to make. Don't do something because you're expecting rewards out of it. Okay, and then he goes into that everybody is born with the right to be happy. It sounds simple, but I feel like our, our lives, I feel like it's simple, but our lives can get so complicated and then mentally we make not complicated situations even more complicated and that doesn't even include if you went through something like very traumatic like you're not being difficult or making that more complicated that was complicated you know something like that so just remind yourself that you are born with the right to be happy no matter what people are treating you like or telling you you deserve to be happy he ends this agreement with saying you are alive so take your life and enjoy it kind of like put your life in your hands and take somewhat of control because we know we can't control everything but learn to enjoy it it's worth it okay and then after he goes over those four agreements he says the toll path to freedom which means breaking your old agreements you have to change the foundation of your agreements and he suggests doing these new four ones we should have the freedom to be ourselves and for every bad agreement you break you must replace it with a good one I feel like that would help a lot with your mind playing tricks on you so if you want to replace something bad you got to replace it with something good i love that tip and then he ends it on the new dream you can perceive love wherever you go and the only reason you are suffering is because you choose to suffer. That could mean, you know, or not mean, but that could apply to anything. If you don't like your job, switch jobs. If you don't like where you live, try to figure out a new situation. If you don't like the people in your circle, switch people. Sometimes I have to learn to remember not to get so hyped because ever since i started learning because i'm human that growth change learning new things development all that is a thing because again i didn't even know that was a thing nobody taught me or sat me down or you know told me stuff like this and ever since i learned it i've just become real passionate about it i feel like everybody deserves to be happy and some people don't even know that all you have to do to fix that is look within yourself. Start asking yourself questions, getting to know yourself. Take a look inside and learn to love yourself and all of that can change. Mm. I get so hyped about it. I need to calm down. I get way too aggressive. And I really like how he ends this on a positive note. Like when he talks about negative things. He does those first and then ends on the positive note. And so the last thing he says, after I get my hair out of my lip gloss, is the only reason you are happy is because you choose to be happy. Happiness is a choice. So just like suffering is a choice, being happy is a choice. I really think everybody should go out and read this book. It is absolutely amazing. Again, it's a short read. I feel like a lot of people can learn from this. It's, I don't know, it's eye-opening. Don't ever be scared to change. Don't ever be scared to go down a different path. Yes, change can be scary, but 
what isn't scary these days? You know, especially when you get older, everything is going to change day by day. These years are flying by. I know I'm not the only one. So just embrace it and have fun and enjoy it. A lot can change when you choose to enjoy it. All right, so let's do a small recap. The four agreements. Number one, be impeccable with your word. Number two, don't take anything personally. Number three, don't make assumptions. And number four, always do your best. I think these are amazing. It's a good start. It's easy to understand. The whole book is easy to understand. And so why not? Why not do something new? and start in 2021 because oh my gosh I keep thinking it's 2020 but that whole year has already passed that is absolutely insane to me like where does the time go I don't understand <sighs> but okay I think that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this book review go to audible go to amazon go to walmart wherever you can find this book and read it and then let me know what you think and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye. I don't know why. <sighs> okay, today's a hot coffee day. I'm normally an ice drinker, but uh, we're going to go with a hot drink today. Look at my baby's Transformers in the back. They're so cute. Okay these cars going by are gonna kill me okay let me not stress myself out more and have another situation on my face okay now I'm looking ridiculous but that's okay but in reality oh, scratch up these cars really need to go somewhere else like I'm not having it I'm like, whoa, where's everybody going today? <clears throat> <clears throat> what is going on with my throat? <clears> throat? Oh, gosh. I wish I could just hand everybody the book. But that's not going to work. <laughs> Maybe the problem is I didn't drink all my coffee, which is now getting cold, but it tastes amazing. So I'm going to drink it. And we don't waste stuff around here. So because he's trying to tell you you should make your own agreements out of... <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my... What is the problem? And they are trustworthy. Trustworthy? Worthy? wait for all these cars to go just saying don't mind my tape on my brush okay she's been through it and I gotta get a new one don't judge do you really just despise one of your eyebrows <sighs> I wish I can take this eyebrow and put it on this side and just flip it I seem to be getting real antsy about some eyebrow hair <laughs> So my whole life, when I had a car, my whole life, I feel like a lot of, a lot of less. <laughs> he says, oh, wait, should I explain that better? Oh, my back is hurting from standing up straight. I'm gonna have so many wrinkles when I get older. I just laugh and cry too much and make weird facial expressions. I'm gonna have wrinkles all through here, 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 here. So you, so with that be, therefore, oh my sheesh. There's a lot easier, there is more. What, what am I trying to say? Don't do things because you're expecting money. Money, what am I talking about? because you're expecting rewards. Having deep set eyelids, eyelids. Having deep set eyelids is really annoying. Sometimes I wish I had a more flat surface to work with, 
That way I can add or take away dimension as I please. Because it's kind of hard to take away from dimension when your eye socket goes back like two inches. Like, it's a little bit difficult. Hello, Grace. Good morning. How are you growing today? <laughs> I'm growing. My gray hairs are growing. <laughs> We're all growing. Okay, that was, that, that was corny. But it was fun. Thanks, Mom, for the mug. Love it. We're gonna post a thumbnail. Thumbnail. Hey, hey, cuz I can pick a still image now. Hey, 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 hey. What is going on with my face? The sun is going in and out. Huh. Or we can do this for a thumbnail. Am I supposed to be on this side or this side? Does everybody like my Mickey Mouse shirt? Oh, you can't see it. He's cool. I know. Ugh. Whatever. It is what it is.